At Dina Hughes' place in northeast Vancouver, there's seven rescued kittens being fostered. Oral antibiotic, had to have eye drops. Shot appointments. She's a volunteer for the Furry Friends Cat Shelter. She's willing to take on the difficult medical challenges some kittens suffer. This one in particular has a really cloudy eye. The number of kitten batches and rescues from trailers, homes, warehouses, and more is stretching the capabilities of shelters. Furry Friends actually has 140 kittens in foster right now, and we are way over capacity. All the kitten fosters are in volunteer homes across the region. Furry Friends has always kept the kittens and special medical needs cats in foster homes. When they're ready, they come to the shelter. House manager Jasmine makes sure the cats have their flea and tick treatments. Their care continues until they are ready for adoption. We have several cats, a lot of black cats. Diane Stevens says there's 30 adult cats at the Furry Friends cat shelter. But she's most concerned about all the new batches of younger cats. There's been a lot of kittens, yes. They normally have a limit of 100 kittens. Two years of pandemic impacts have increased the numbers to over 130. They had shut down the spay-neuter clinics and did not let the veterinarians um, do uh, spay and neuter operations. That means more litters, more cats, and more treatments. The kittens will cost us about $300 to $500 each to take care of their basic needs. For this no-kill cat shelter that depends on private donations to operate, the Furry Friends' upcoming fundraiser, South Pacific Auction, on September 17th is vital. Wear your best tropical outfit and come on out and have some fun with all the other kitty lovers. We are way over capacity. We can't take anymore, which means that there are kittens out there that are probably not going to make it. This one is just going to be a love bug. Like, he loves to be held. Most of them from this group are getting to be that way. With the positive human time, medical care, and plenty to eat, these kittens have a great chance to thrive. Hi. Oh, you're so sweet. In Northeast Vancouver, I'm Stephen Redland, KGW News.